What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Plant Movement Podcast. My name is Willie Rodriguez, all right, where we are continuing to bring you guys relevant content for the industry. All right, today we have a special guest, Francisco, with Grow In Bag. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank Everything's you good? Me. Everything's well. Everything's good. That's very, awesome, very good. man. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, I love you guys' product. So I wanted Thank to bring you, you on. That. Yeah, man. Wanted to bring you on and showcase what it is because it's different. It's outside the box. It's new, right? It's not super old, at least in the States. Correct. I know it comes from somewhere else, but we're going to jump into all of that, guys. Correct. Um, but um, so you are the business developer and the head of operations for the whole United States for this product. Yes, sir. Um, Growing Bag is a, is a newer uh, product that is available here in the United States, and it's just on a different alternative for for using pots, right? Correct. And now that we're in the whole pandemic situation, the shortage situation, the pots are not as available, right? Right. We need to look out and look for other alternatives to keep on growing product as growers. Correct. You right. Know. So I want to jump in. Um, I want you to tell us about. We can start like um, with what the product is, sure. right? Or we can go into a little bit about your background. And sure. how you jumped into it and how you got these wonderful titles, sure. right? So let's start there. How did you jump into Growing Bag? So I jumped into Growing Bag um, because I saw the opportunity in um, in this in this vast industry to uh, to introduce something amazing to all business types, nurseries, um, farms of all kinds, garden centers. So the 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 bag itself it offers a the as you mentioned, the, the, the perfect alternative. So I saw the, I saw the opportunity and I jumped into it and, um, I got, I got my title and my position because the, um, the representative who was with the company before was helping the, the business develop within the industry. And he was, um, he was helping the entire product line to, to get out there. Okay. And then he had to leave and, um, I know the owners personally and, and they asked me if, if I wanted to come into the opportunity and take over and I saw a great interest in it and, and I stepped in and, and I absolutely, uh, love what I do and I cater to all of our clients out there. Uh, those that are current and new, um, willing to do whatever it takes for our clients to, to get the right product and to, to build their business and help them grow with us um and offer just just the best available the best product so uh, so you jumped in because you believed in the product they believed yes. in you because you have a background in this type of stuff from what you would do yes. previously and it just made sense to jump in correct and from then you love it and now you're here three years later duking it out right and duking <laughs> it out. <laughs> no, but that's what it is man you gotta one bag at a time right? no but you stand behind the product you know it's good and that's what makes it all you know yes. worth it to put all your time and effort into pushing you know, right, pushing right. and growing it and everything. Right. So, um, grow in bag. I want to know about it. Who? So, who is the owners of it? Like, where are they based out of? So, grow in bag is a is a family based business over twenty five years, catering to numerous thousands of clients all over the world. We're based out of Australia. Okay. Which is very, very important because what I've noticed in this industry is everyone looks for quality and yeah. we're nothing but quality. Yeah. So all of our material is based out of Australia um, and we we service many, many different countries in the world. I'm the head of operations and business developer here in the U.S. We have representatives in Chile. We also have one in Europe and in our home base in, in Australia as well. well. So they are worldwide. So they're a big business. Yes, we've been in business for over mm -hmm. 25 years and uh, we own our factory as well. We design, we create any need, any any request okay. of our clients. So we make a standard line which we carry here in Miami, mm -hmm. but we have unique situations where someone may need something specific and we can create that for them. Oh, wow. Because um, we we own our factory. Yeah, the and way you guys have, are set up. And we have accessibility to to make and design any any shape, any size, um, different designs of, of our product. So that's awesome. So it's basically a custom tailored bag. You do have, you know, products that are already available, already done, that's shipped right. over here. You have them yes, here? Yes, that's shipped over here that we have uh, thousands available of inventory now, especially with the, the crisis Shortages. of shortage. Mm -hmm. uh, that we're going through um, material wise and with pots so we have thousands of bags available and many containers that are coming from the factory that I just have running 
uh, constantly over here because I know the 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 demand is so high. Okay, for you, for containers. So if people were to order, so you can order. I can order twenty thousand of these bags. You can order you twenty. Bring them over well, whether you're a small business, whether you're a big business, you can order from one to thousands. If you're trying to throw the bags into uh, yeah, to fill up the whole to, nursery. To, to fill up the whole nursery. I mean, we we cater to all business sizes. All business sizes. So. Um, so that's awesome. And I know a couple of people. So me personally, I've never used the product, right? right. Because I've been using pots and it's right. worked, right? I haven't had the necessity yet to jump into something right. else. And I know as soon as you do, you're going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I have really good friends that that's all they use. They okay. use these bags and they love it. You know, um, right. uh, Felix over at Bix. He's one of them yes. big, big guys. Shout out to Big Tropical Farms yeah. and Shout Tree of a Kind Farms. Yeah. Shout out to you guys. Um, they're like family almost. Yeah. So... I know they use it, they stand by it, and it works. And I've talked to him, he tells me he loves them. You know, um, like um, one one thing, like me, I don't do trees, Correct. right? And they're a tree, let's say tree farm, container grown tree farm. Yes. Um, so it, like for me, I see that since they're growing trees on a cable, mm -hmm. right? It, it has some type of sustainability, window, right? right? For wind and stuff right. like that, because you have a 12 foot tree that you planted from, let's say a 25 gallon size, bag or pot Correct. into a 45 or 65 right. um you know you might like me i feel like i might get into some little things with like wind toppling them over and stuff like that just because it is a bag and it's not a strong right. pot but you told me that there are things that you guys implement to help yes. that out so i want to jump into that what is that so that consists of um so first like i mentioned before we own our factory so we can design any bag style that that's needed okay so for example for a wind blow we have a lot of clients that ask us for for our long belt bags so our bags they come design look guys so this, this is, is a bag a, here it's super so this way. is one of our more popular bags this is a 15 gallon um easy bag. fill growing bag and as you can see here we design um our smaller sizes they have the the strap handles that come about a quarter of the way down um, but we have clients that will ask for long straps, long belts that will come all the way down to, um, the bottom. the bottom of the bag. And we've also made by request and, um, and designed is a belt within the interior lining, which will give it more sustainability. Another bag that we design as well is a squat bag, which is very, very popular, uh, amongst many businesses and when it was within the industry, I'm sorry. What a squat bag is, it's wider in in uh, in size and not as tall. So the taller a bag is, the the more the the more unbalanced the bag is going to be. It could be. Yeah. The lower it sits to the ground and the wider it is, the heavier on 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 the bottom portion it's going to be, and the 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 more sustainability you'll yeah, have, yeah, you and have, the more and the more balanced more. it'll be overall. You have more bag on the floor. Correct. More bag on the floor and not up in the air. Correct. So it's wider. Right. It's like a cup versus right. a bowl. Another like another another method that a lot of our nurseries do as well is that they will they will plant them literally side by side so it creates a community of, of strength. Okay. So instead of having space in between the bags, they'll put the bags right next to each other. Just when the wind blows, um, the, the, the bags won't move. So that's, that's something that not everyone does, but a lot of, a lot of, uh, our clients that, that have expressed to me that, oh, we'll, we'll put the bags a little bit closer together just in case there is wind blow and, and, uh, risk of top yeah, off. And that, and that's only for the first couple months while it's, you know, depending on what size right. you're doing, right. right? If you're doing a 25 gallon tree from a 15 to a 25, you might have to wait two Correct. months for that to like strengthen up and get roots all right. up in the soil. Right. But this bag, dude, like it is solid. Like these straps, right. what are these straps? I so, don't know what this is made out of, but this is strong, strong, strong. So the, these, these bags are, are made of, um, a high quality polyethylene. Okay. It's a high density polyethylene material that we used. Uh, and like I mentioned, we're an Australian company, so we use the, the, the highest, quality materials for everything um no but it's super this. solid what i love what i love about it is you get drainage yes. throughout the side that i'm sure you can custom make that as well correct right depending on what the customer wants and what these right. straps are good for guys because it is a bag right so if you're if you're you you have them in the tree farm you have them in your farm mm -hmm. whatever 
and you have a you you know it's a 300 pound tree or whatever yes. it is you got to pick it up with a with a with a machine with a skid yes. you know skid so steer you can whatever. stick you can stick forklift arms through the bags yes so another unique design as well is like our this, smaller like bags that. right mm-hmm. so our smaller bags they come with two handles okay but we specifically des- design our 30 gallon and above so once you start walking into the ranges of 40 50 60 and above we make our bags with four handles so then that way you can equally pick them up with okay. forklift arms yes you can pick it up with more manpower yes. um so that there's going to be more sustainability and more strength in the bigger sizes just because it's going to be a heavier bag yeah. so that's another unique detail oh, that and this that is we cool make. like i feel like um like uh, this bag can be reused a bunch of times. Yes, it looks very, very strong, very, very sturdy. Right. The only thing is that you're so if you're the nursery growing it, you got to tell the people that buy it, the landscapers, hey, give me back the bags, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, exactly. so you can get the bag back and then you yeah, have it to do it absolutely. again. Absolutely, especially um, with with the shortage that we're experiencing now. I mean, you can cut costs and and you can just take the tree out of the bag and then reuse it. You just wash it out as it is 100% recyclable, yeah. which is also uh, it's environmentally friendly as well, yeah. uh, which we have many clients that um that are aware of that and they want an environmentally friendly uh product as well no and now and they're and they're happy to support that yeah that's good now thinking about it too like the landscapers back on that like let's say you do buy plants that that are in these bags you can reuse these bags yourself yes you know to move dirt or whatever it's a very sturdy bag these bags these bags service anything anything you can you can throw stones in them yes we make biomass bags that are huge and heavy for for a lot a lot of uh gravel okay um stone mulch you can use these bags for anything Very but the primary reason is for growing it's for, for, growing, for growing but it could be used for anything so it could be used for anything yeah. if you're a landscaper and you buy some stuff that are in these bags like don't throw them away right yeah, if you don't give them back to the person that you bought them from because yes. you can reuse them and continue Anything. to use them if you want to grow grocery shopping with them i mean you can <laughs> stick a whole bunch of food in it and i mean you can carry it home with no problem and you didn't have to buy a, a bag from the grocery store for a dollar when you already had the bag for free yeah so so what what are what are some of the benefits of using let's say this bag versus the traditional blow mold um, plastic pots so really really great question um so as, as you know, and you yourself, you use regular traditional pots. Mm-hmm. Uh, the greatest advantage and the number one advantage to using our bags versus a traditional pot is the way we design our bags. It allows for better um, light penetration. Okay. And even more airflow, which allows more oxygen to enter the bag. And uh, it also drains much better. Okay. So, yeah, because you got holes everywhere. Right. So we design these uh, our, our, we design our products there. with more holes than the traditional pot. So a traditional pot just has holes on the bottom. Yeah. So the the airflow that you're getting is just the from the little bit of space that you have on the ground entering the bottom and obviously on the top. Mm-hmm. So here you'll get more a more dynamic airflow from the top. Also the sides, as you can see here, we design our bags with a, at least two columns of, of four holes. Small holes. Yeah. Small holes, right which like a hole puncher size right like a hole mm-hmm. puncher size very very small which allows for, for for more breathability and there's holes on the bottom too yes a couple. and there's and there's a few more holes on the bottom for for that purpose for the drainage and and for the airflow not not only that but the way we weave our bags um normally i put the bags into the light so so our clients can see but when you put them into the light we we weave our bags in a certain way that allows for for more light penetration through the sides so there's more sun exposure yeah, more so sun exposure if you look at up in the sky right so mm-hmm. not only the sun ex- the sun is going to penetrate through the top mm-hmm. but to a certain extent not 100% it's going to allow for more light to penetrate the sides as well um so being with with all those qualities your your root system which is the life of the, of the plant, or, plant or the tree mm-hmm. or the organism that's inside <clears throat> of the bag it, it doesn't have to stress it, it receives all of its proper nutrients and and um no more even more <clears throat> everything everything that the plant or the tree needs and whatever you're growing in it it it's gonna grow much better in our bags because it's receiving that light and, yeah. and a, proper a, airflow a it's receiving mold, much more a blow molded pot more. is real thick right. the bigger you get it gets right. thicker 
Correct. And then there's no Correct. sunlight exposure right. at all. It's it's just like us. The 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 <clears throat> more the more fruits we eat, the more vegetables we eat, the the healthier our body's gonna be. Yes. So the more nutrients that our plants and trees receive in our product, it it just makes everything better. It does. Not only that, but they grow much quicker, which means more return on your investment because you're you're able to sell them a lot faster oh, as well. I didn't even think about so, that. So yep. and then one other thing is is the handles. How you how you mentioned you like very the handles. Sturdy. So very the handles sturdy. are very, very sturdy, so they're very, very easy to move. They're also UV stitched and the entire bag, you see how it has a shine to it? Mm -hmm. So our bags and our stitching are UV coated. So okay. it also protects against sunlight as well. Because okay. I have I have clients ask how long do they last? Mm -hmm. We have clients that have our bags for five to ten years. Um, <laughs> and they're at, reusing at them. And they're reusing them because we put them through the test. Yeah. I yeah, mean, we, we're, we're an Australian company where our bags are in 130 degree Fahrenheit weather. Okay. And you have sub-zero temperatures in the north where the, the bags will, will in neg in you know, close you, to you, you, would, you would think they freeze, but yeah. um, they, they're, they're tested. They're okay. tested and, and the quality is, is there. Okay, that's awesome. Um, Storing. Yes, storage. And storage space as well. So, oh yeah, that's so you get thing. you get ten. Just grab ten pots. Ten pots will take up. I mean, this this much space, and it'll be about yeah, stacked tall. up this high. Mm -hmm. You can grab a hundred bags, and it won't even take up this, that guys. much space. This is this is a what a fifteen or twenty five. That's gallon. a twenty five gallon. So this is a twenty five gallon bag, guys. And look how skinny it is. Less, it's a half inch thick. And that's it. You can lay it down. It takes up no space Correct. at all. Correct. So zero you, space. Zero, zero space. You can have thousands of bags, and you yeah. can have thousands of bags just in, in, in this in room. In a closet. Alone. Yeah. In a closet. Correct. In a closet. So that's that's another thing that's super good. One thing that I wanted to bring up, since it is a bag, and I'm sure you guys are thinking about it. Right. Um, and I want to ask questions that the viewers might ask. When you go sure. to plant these, right, I want I want yes. you to tell me. So, so this is a floppy bag. Right. Yes. There's a floppy bag and a pot is very hard and sturdy. So when you go to fill it up with soil, you put the plant in, you go to fill it up with soil, it sustains itself, right? You don't right. have to be holding it. Right. So this bag, when you go to fill it up, you have to be dealing with this. So what are some of the things right. that you guys have tested with existing nurseries around them? And right. I want you to talk about that to be able to plant right. it efficiently, right? Talk about that. So the the number one way and the simplest way of of avoiding the the, the flop over mm -hmm. um of the top of the bag and to give it sustainability is just grab a pot that you already own the same size as the that same one. size mm -hmm. and all you do is cut out the the quarter top of mm -hmm. the pot itself you make a ring you make a ring and you make it's it's a mold essentially what, mm -hmm. what you're making mm -hmm. all you do is just stick it inside of the bag it holds the bag open you fill it in whether you're shoveling in or you're using uh, a, a machinery machine. mm -hmm. to to fill the yeah. bag up with your substrate mm -hmm. and that's it as soon as you fill it up about halfway towards the top you take out the the, the mold mm -hmm. and that's it and that's it. And that's it. Once once you have your your substrate in the bag, it holds and it eventually turns into a hard pot itself. Once it fully develops and matures on the inside, once the root system is intact, yeah, it's nice and strong. And once the the soil or whatever substrate you you have inside the bags hardens, it turns into a hard pot. Okay. No, that's something good. And what I like about it is that if you guys were to implement something like that, it would cost more for the customer. Right. If yes. each bag had something in it to sustain it more, because I'm right. sure you can you can weave wire, right. you know, like a skeleton wire, you know, up and down, right, right. all the way around. And, and, and we, we right, and we work very very hard in in creating a product that that will cut costs all over yeah. as well. I mean, compared to a regular pot itself, um, depending on what size you're you're purchasing, mm -hmm. we're already much more cost effective than a regular pot but other than that we're always trying to come up with ways to put more money in your pocket of course where you can be more be more profitable yeah yeah that, and, that, and that's something good when you have a business like i do the same thing in my business i always look yes. for ways to make sure the customer wins i, right. I tell my customer i was like man i need you to make more money than yes, i absolutely. do absolutely Right, that way you keep right. on calling me. Of course, and 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 if customers always number one, and and I take care of my clients all throughout all fifty states, and what whatever whatever it takes, whatever ideas or methods that that we need to do, in order to make you successful, will go the mile and above okay. for for that purpose. So. I have I have a couple other questions. You um 
So you promote this bag. I yes. saw you at a trade show. That's where I met you. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, the Orlando. one in, in Orlando. Mm-hmm. So you go to a bunch of trade shows every year, right? Yes. How many trade shows you do a year? Um, right now, we well, the, the first two years that I was in in the business, we did four shows. We did Manson, Baltimore. We did Green and Growing in North Carolina. Then we did the Far West show in Oregon, and okay. then where I met you in Orlando for okay. the landscape show. Okay. This year we're primed to doing seven shows. Oof. Um. So those four, and then we added San Antonio. We added um the MJ BizCon in November in Las Vegas, and we're. Was it three? No, but it's it's two. two we, uh, we we went into two, so two, two more. more, two more. Yes, San Antonio and um and MJ, MJ BizCon and and over there in Vegas, there's a there's a like a like a horticulture community over there. Yes, there's a huge horticulture uh, community where where hemp and cannabis. Oh is, yes, that's is, that industry. I'm thinking huge. plants and trees, guys, not the other ones. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, we, we have we have we have a. Uh, we have cannabis bags as well. I mean, we we cater to everybody. So you have a Just whole line. A whole line. Where whole can line. we see that line? Where can we go? So online this and line, line can be found. <clears throat> our entire product line can be found on our website www.growingbag.com. Mm-hmm. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Instagram at Growing Bag mm-hmm. and on Facebook Growing Bag. But your but your product line is on the website. It's probably the best yes, place it's on, to find it's it. It's on the website, or you can call me directly 305-710-9628. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But yes, you can order directly with us in in all those. Yeah. All so those guys, if you want to see the different styles of bag and their whole product line, you could just jump over to their website, which would probably be the best one. Yes. And you can see mm-hmm. everything that's available, and then you can give Francis a call, or you can right. shoot him a text. You can hit him up on on IG. You personally run that account. Yes, I run that account. Yeah. I'm I'm. That's the advantage of being with Growing Bag as well. You're not dealing with representatives that will transfer you to the one you have to talk to. Yeah. Once you call me, once you reach out to us, or on Instagram, you are whether Boom. it's Instagram, Facebook, or my phone number, email, it's coming directly to me. So that's the advantage of being with Growing Bag as well. Is I I will provide the best customer service for our yeah. clients, and you will only speak with me, and it just makes the process so much easier. Yeah, so much easier. What I love, what I love, and what I got from this, because I know you you guys are selling it like a tree, like a pot, right, yes. to replace the pot. Yes, correct. But you're in cannabis. You're in the cannabis industry, the hemp industry. You're in um, the agriculture industry. Yes. You are in, <clears throat> excuse me. You're in the horticulture industry. Landscapers can use it. People that sell rock can use it. Like it's yeah. so versatile. Yes. You know, to pick up garbage at the end of your job, you can mm-hmm. pick it up, and then it's just cleaner. It's just a better way. Right. And this is a massive, like beautiful, strong bag. Right. Right. Like I'm very impressed with the quality of the bag. Like it, like it, like it makes sense to purchase this bag because how versatile it is yes. and all the uses that you can use it you right. know, for. All right, so like, let's say I'm in Oregon, right? So right. your 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 spot here where you have everything yes. is in Miami. Right, so it correct. comes in from Australia on the on a ship. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. And how has that been? Has that been rolling for you guys? It's you're it's, over. It's been rolling, and and we're working very hard on having a consistent flow of containers coming. Yeah. That way there's no shortage. That way there's no shortage. And I know there's a huge shortage of pots right now. And we have thousands of bags available. So as soon as it leaves our factory, it's in 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 route on a ship. And then once it lands in the port of Miami, it's shipped over to our warehouse here by the airport. Mm-hmm. Um, we store our bags there and, and we sell directly to all 50 states, yeah. to, to the entire country. So whether you're in Oregon, whether you're in North Carolina... Idaho, Maine, Texas, California, what, whichever uh, geographical location you are in in the four corners of this country, and Hawaii and Alaska as well. Okay, we we ship our bags here from Miami, and depending on where you are, East Coast, West Coast, more uh, up towards the north, um, shipping is is fairly quickly. I fairly mean, quickly. It, it could be two two to three days, three to five days, depending on where you are. Okay, and have you guys ever like let's say someone in Cali wants California wants a whole shipment of of yes. these bags? You guys can ship this container from we Australia. We can ship containers as well directly de- to delivered. your door as okay. well. So, so we can have a full container if your operation is going to consist of that quantity size. Mm-hmm. We can ship a, con- a container directly for you, to you. from mm-hmm. our factory, or if it's if it's a bulk order to yeah, a small pallet, size order, pallets. a mm-hmm. couple pallets, we ship it directly from Miami on an LTL freight 
mm -hmm. uh, company okay. that, that that we have business with. Or or if it's a smaller order, I take care of it myself yeah. and, and I'll ship yeah, it you'll through have it here. Yes. What's right. turnaround time on the order if it's here? Turn turnaround time normally for the warehouse is a twenty four hour notice and then after that th there's some cases where it's two days if it's if it's really, really busy. But turnaround time is normally twenty to four, forty eight hours and by the time you get it three to five days. Are you guys in any like distributor outlets, like any type of like a uh, supply store, like landscape supply store, we, pot stores. We are in a couple, but okay. since since we thrive on really catering to our clients directly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's where we primarily are right now. Because there's no other benefit that we get with providing and and answering questions and coming up with solutions to any problems to our clients directly mm -hmm. than having to deal with a third party that's buying from the distributor not that we're 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 Against not it. Mm -hmm. not um available for distributors oh. we absolutely are but for what it is right now since we are still trying to get the planter bags widely known mm -hmm. we we're doing it directly okay where everybody can come to us any questions that that may be on your minds of course and we'll answer that for you and do whatever it takes to, to no have, and that's always the best people love in, talking in people love talking to the person they right. love talking to the man exactly. you know or the woman they exactly. want to talk to the head honcho right and they can do that by just reaching out to you exactly because you know it that's how you guys have it set up exactly so um do you have anything else you want to say no i i i really i really just wanted to come out i appreciate your time for oh, making you, time man. for for me to be here on the podcast um whatever you guys need um whether you're a new business or a current client right now um we're we're here to service anyone and everyone whatever whatever it takes to get and growing back into your business to help you guys grow and be successful That's what we're here for, and uh, we we look forward to any business that comes over. I am more than happy to 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 provide anything that that is needed, and and if you have any special requests, we can do it for you. We can essentially do anything for everyone out there. So shout out to all of our businesses that are out there, uh, Arbor Fields out of North Carolina. Um, who else? Uh, John Clark over at um at Pro Green. Like I mentioned What earlier, state big, are they in? Uh, they're in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, North Carolina is a, a great state. Um, big Tropical and, uses you guys at Down South yes, Homestead. Yes, Big Tropical, uh, Tree of a Kind Farms. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, 3D's Nursery. Mm -hmm. um, Demon uh, and Devin. De Demons and Devin. Yes, Demons yeah. and Devin. Um, and and ma many, many of... Uh, Of, of our clients that I may not have missed. I mean, you are greatly appreciated. And um, again, I thank you for the time. For Thank you, man. For, for He loves you guys. He loves all Absolutely. of you guys, just so you know. Absolutely. Thank you, man, for coming out, bringing it here. I love the bag, love the quality. Absolutely. I'm ready for the 20,000 free samples. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if you guys need any samples before your purchase, if you're not comfortable placing an order, we don't have minimums, as, as, I'm, as we mentioned earlier in the podcast. Um, if you need a sample, we can send it right to you. You can take the bag apart. You can plant whatever you need to in order to see if it's a right fit for you. But you can order from one to thousands of bags. But if you need a sample to see the bag right before you place an order. Yeah, so we have a full range of of our planter bags. We range from one to 300. We've made amazing From one Mind gallon blown. to 300 gallons. Yes, yeah, so that includes okay. all the odd numbers. Yeah, five, one, seven. One, uh, three, five, seven, mm -hmm. 10, 15, 25, all the way to 300. Okay. We also have made custom bags of 500 gallon. So we can design anything. anything. As I mentioned, we own our factory. Um, we can also create and customize your bags with your business logo as well if you want to personalize it. So if you want to make a different color if you want to design the bags with more holes if you want to make the straps longer if you want to make it a different shape we've made square bags before colors desert bags you can change the colors green black white you can make it rainbow if you like to yeah, i mean we whatever. we design we design anything specific to cater to all the businesses that we have out there and and all new businesses that need something specific we can come up with anything what's usually the lead time on that The lead, so great question. So the lead time on anything custom that comes from our factory is anywhere from six to eight weeks. And, you know, with the supply chain issues, I know that that's, it, it can be more at times, but so far everything's, everything's been smooth and, and great. Um, but if there's anything that ever comes up, you can directly 
Reach communicate out. with me and I'll and I'll keep you up to date on you know yeah. where where and your most bikes of the time, are. Most of the time, guys, order. when you're placing custom orders on anything, it's going to be longer than it is. So you just right. purchase the bags, use right. them, and then when when it's time, when you know your Correct. stuff comes in with your logo or whatever on it, then Correct. you're you're on. Yeah, that, I think the main thing for for now and today, uh, with all the issues that we're having with supply and with such with high shipping. demand, mm -hmm. we have bags right now. So if you guys need a quick solution, whether it's temporary or for the long haul, we have bags ready to go out right now. So if if it's to take care of you for the time being until your containers come back, that's fine. But if our goal is for you to stay with us for the long haul and yeah, for us course. to teach you the benefits of being with growing bag and how your plants, your crops everything that you plant in our bags is going we'll to thrive. do much mm -hmm. better and thrive. Um, that's our ultimate goal. So we have bags available right now and, and you're not having to deal with, you know, waiting a, or who knows yeah. the, the unknown is known with growing back. Yeah. I can tell you directly what we have and what's coming. Awesome. So awesome. you guys already know what to do. You Absolutely. have his Instagram. Tell us your Instagram one more time. So our Instagram is growing bag. Very uh -huh. simple, just like that. At Growing Bag. At Growing Bag. Our website, again, is www.growingbag.com, and we're also available on Facebook. Phone Growing number? Bag. Phone number is 305-710-9628. Email. And our email is Francisco, so that's F-R-A-N-C-I-S-C-O at whsaustralia.com.au. It's very short, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely short. Press play, go back. All right, it's a, it's, just hit them up on Instagram. It's worth the <laughs> it's worth the finger workout. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're gonna put everything in the bio. Thank yes, you so absolutely. much, Francisco, yeah, for coming, absolutely. bro. I love the product. Pleasure. I'm Thank gonna be trying out me. the product. Maybe we do some videos about the product uh, sure. for A's, and we jump on that. You guys can jump on that platform and see that. Absolutely. But thank you so much for coming out, taking the time. You, you know, bringing bringing uh, the knowledge and all the new the, the what is it called the um, um, bringing the new innovative stuff into yes. this world, My you know, pleasure. bringing it into the U.S. and some different, right? I love seeing new products being made for this industry, right? Because we're an industry that's a little outdated, right? So when you see new products, it's like, man, this is awesome, and people are Correct. putting time into it. It's a massive, massive industry, yes. you know, nationwide, worldwide. Worldwide, You know, absolutely. horticulture is a big industry. Yes. So um, thank you guys for doing what you're doing. Yes. Thank your bosses for hey, keeping it thank going for, for 25 out years. There. And let's keep going, man. So yes, thank you, absolutely. man. God bless you. Thank right, you. God bless you, too. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. All right, stay tuned for the next one because you already know it's going to be fire. And thank you guys so much for listening, watching on YouTube, all the podcast streams. It really does mean a lot. You know, we're having fun doing this, being able to meet a lot of awesome, cool people that bring just new, innovative, creative things to the table, right? Business owners, listen to their story, just everything, the whole nine. It is awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Stay tuned. God bless you guys. God bless you.